What is up, my people? What's Ardent. up, guys? It's our Ardent family. It is our Ardent family. We have right Dylan. There. Right there. You are right there. We have Dylan. Hello. And we have me. I'm Josh. We are your Ardent leaders, your Ardent pastors, your Ardent staff, whatever you want to call us. Your family, brother from another mother. Your friends. Your people. My people. Your Speaking people. of my people, do you remember when we did the series My People? Yeah, at like, Ardent? like last fall. It was October, November ish. It was really cool. It had like the the, that the felt forever colored, like kind of the color of that lighting. Yeah, actually. that's true. Yeah, with, like the people walking mm -hmm. around. Yeah, it was a really good series. It was about what? What was it about? It was about like community and like what God thinks about it, but more of like how we can engage in community and especially like inviting, investing in those around us. Mm -hmm. Do you know actually Jesus was the best at that? Jesus yeah. was, actually, I'm going to throw a truth bomb right here. Drop Jesus it. was better at a lot of things than me. But there's one thing that he was way, way better at than me, which I think I'm, like, decent at. But he was the best youth pastor of all time. Because if you think about it, you have Jesus, right? And then you have the 12, what, are they, what do you call them? Disciples. But you know they were, like, kids? Like, the majority really? of them were pretty young. How young are we talking? Like, younger than you. Really? Yeah. Speaking of which, why are you wearing a hat? Are you trying I, to hide something under there? I definitely am. Dylan needs a haircut. <laughs> and I do too, actually. I had a sixth grade kid make fun of my hair on, on Sunday last time when you know, he watched me on church. That's, that's a true story. That's rough. You I'm, guys kind of roast us. You, you're you're kind of savages. Yeah. Wait, let's take the hat off. Let's see. That's not bad. It's it's not good. All right. Comment or whatever. <laughs> comment. In your, this is going to be on YouTube and Instagram. So comment on right. one of those things and say, just should he know. shave his head, yeah. like buzz cut, or just or, keep it growing? Or keep it you know, growing. Maybe okay? quarantine stops and this, it just keeps let's going. Let, let's let the ardent people, we'll let them our, decide. our people, my people, my people, say my people. what goes for your hair. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can put the hat back on. Thank it you. looks gross. I appreciate um, it. But no, like Jesus was like the best youth pastor ever. He was always inviting people. He was actually inviting himself over to people's houses all the time. Like Zacchaeus' house. Yeah. He's like, yo, dude, I'm going to come over for dinner. Like, is your mom cooking or what? You know? That's what we would do actually as kids too. Yeah, when you're like really good friends with them and you just like, you don't even knock anymore. You just walk It into depends their house. on like how good the parent was at cooking though. That mm -hmm. was like, that was key. Everyone always wanted to come over to my house because my mom filled the pantry, like loaded it up. We had ding dong. You guys remember ding dongs? I don't ding dongs? Like the, like the hostess. Mm, yeah. yeah. Like, Anything like the hostess. The chocolate like... with the cream filling and stuff. It was mm. so good. That was like goldfish, like oh. tons of candy. My mom still has tons of candy and cookies. Christmas time, it's like just cookies galore. It's that crazy. sounds so good. Yeah. I'm hungry now. Yeah. That sounds so Anyways, good. what were we talking about? My people. My people. Inviting and investing. Jesus was amazing at just like invite, roping people in. Like just saying, hey, come follow me. Come and see. Come with me and check out this life that I have for you. And then he was also really good at like investing. And that, that's where like kind of the, the whole youth pastor thing was where, I mean, he has his 12 disciples. They were teens, younger than you. Yeah. You're 21. He's 21 now. For like a two weeks or so, right? Yeah. Just turned quarantine 21. Quarantine birthday. Yeah, quarantine. Yeah, not that fun, huh? Not the best. Yeah. But he was so good at investing in people and, uh, and like pulling them out from kind of like the outcast. Like mm. Jesus was always known for hanging out with those, the people who know, people didn't want to hang out, right? Mm. The tax collectors, um, what are they, you know, they, there's always like the terms, like the, the cat. The sinners, of course, yeah. which is, I don't really like to use that the word. The drunkards. The drunkards? Drunk, drunk. Drunkards, that's a word? <laughs> Dr what am I trying I don't to know. say here? He's drunk, I don't know. Isn't that a word? Drunkards? I don't know. I think that's a word. I've never heard that I'm word before sure in the Bible. I'm uh, pretty sure that's a word. Pretty sure that's a word. And then tax collectors, Can we what find else? out if that's a word, please? <laughs> Emma's saying that's not a word. Uh, what okay. else? Um... um the lame, I don't know, like just people who normally like <laughs> others didn't want to hang out with. And he was all about inviting and investing in those people. And he was showing to disciples, hey, you're not just going to follow me. You're actually now going to invite and invest in to yeah. others, which is like how we have the, the global, the, the big C, capital C church now today yeah. and how we're Christians. Because yeah. it just continues to be this model of inviting and investing into yeah. others. Yeah, he like was so good at creating community. Yes. Like that was, that's what he was all about. It wasn't like he like joined somebody else's friend group. He was the friend mm -hmm. group. Yeah. And now we have Regan and Emma about to share more about inviting and investing. Whoa! Oh we my teleported. Goodness. Whoa! Thanks, Dylan. You snapped us here. So yes, guys, we are talking about inviting and investing, and it is looking a lot different now than it did two months ago. How to pull people in and make sure they feel cared for. But right now in quarantine, this is actually even more important than it's ever been. 
Yeah, I remember back in high school, I felt pretty lonely. Didn't have a lot of friends, but I did have one friend that invited me to youth group. And there, I found community, friends, people that were investing in me. It was like a whole new world. That's and awesome. Yeah, got to experience the real love of Jesus for me. And that does look a little different nowadays. Can't necessarily invite your friend to youth group unless you invite them to the Zoom. Yeah. That's perfectly fine, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Might be a little awkward. I mean, they're already awkward. Zoom anyways. is already awkward, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Everyone's awkward on yeah. that. It's fine. <laughs> but you can invite them to that. But also, just reaching out to people, not, maybe not even like your close friends, but maybe just people that you could pray about. And God, hey, who do you want me to reach out to from school that maybe I don't normally talk to? And mm -hmm. just say, hey, how are you doing? Because people are feeling really lonely now, especially people that might have already not had a lot of friends in high school or um, middle school that need people to reach out to them right now. Yeah, that's so true. And I think right now, too, is such an awesome time to be able to reach out to friends you haven't been close with for a while. Yeah. I have loved getting texts from my friends. So I'm old now. So when I was in high school and I was a lot like a long time ago, those friends have been texting me and that has been fun to reconnect and talk about where we're at now, what we're going through. Because right now, even if your friend lives somewhere else or goes to a different school, you guys are kind of going through super similar stuff. Yeah. So you definitely have some type of connecting point. So I would totally encourage you guys, even if you haven't talked to someone in quite a while, just send them a text and say, hey, what's up, how you doing? But another thing that we are really excited about that you can invite somebody to is our Unite on May 20th at 7 p.m. here on YouTube Live. We're so excited. I'm so excited Yes, it's, it's going to be awesome. really fun. Special guests. Yes, secrets. Very, very special. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, we teamed up with a bunch of other youth groups, and we are going to put on an online Unite. So if you guys remember our last Unite, oh my goodness, we packed so out Rolling people. Hills. I was like claustrophobic in the Chick-fil-A line. It was nuts. That's Actually, right. I'm pretty sure they ran out of sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. they did. We sold out Chick-fil-A. That's so right. It's a pretty big deal. Pretty but big anyways, deal. we're going to be doing our online Unite on May 20th. And then following that, we're actually going to be doing Alpha online, which we are super excited about. We just did Alpha in the fall with our high schoolers. This one's going to be open to junior high and high school students. You guys can be really praying right now. Who are you going to invite to join you in Alpha? And then how are you going to invest in them throughout our Alpha discussions about faith and life and big questions. So I'm excited about that. You're going to be there, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I me love too. Alpha. I'm going to bring my snacks every time. Sometimes I like bringing like crunchy snacks to Zoom because yeah. it's funny to watch other people listen to me eat. Yeah. So definitely. lately I've been eating a lot of like uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. Ooh, What's cool your ranch. snack go-to? Hot Cheetos. Oh. Yeah, I had a mishap with that, and I accidentally ate a whole bag in one sitting, and I did not feel good after that. So I'm kind of taking a little break from yeah, it's probably good from my spicy Cheetos. Not good for you. Yeah, but we are so excited, and we are happy that you guys joined us today, and we can't see you to can't wait to see you on <laughs> Zoom this week. Bye.